This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Uh, last month ago, I already uploaded the solution, but now this lab having some changes, so it is a new solution. So first of all, just me log in with your credentials, and once you're done with that, in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just me click on that link, and then you are able to access this file. Now here you can see this download file. So just me open this link in new tab over here. You will come back to this page. Click on this download button over here, and the file will download to a local system. Once you're done with that. Come back over here, search for the Vertex AI over here, open this thing new tab and then click on this workbench. Now click on this open Jupyter lab. Now this will open a Jupyter notebook like this way. Now what you do, you have to just me upload the file. So just me wait. So it's done. Now just simply click on this upload button and just simply upload the file which is just downloaded from my GitHub repo. Just simply wait and it's done. Now just simply double click over here, wait for a second. Just may choose the Python 3 as a kernel if it asks. Okay. Now if you are using a Jupyter notebook for the first time, so for running a shell or we can say command, you can just may click on this play button or you can just may hit shift and enter. Make sure that your kernel must be Python 3 and it should be ideal. If it connecting or busy, that time you have to just may wait. So as you can see, it's ideal now. So first of all, we are going to run this particular command to install all the Vertex AI packages. After that, we have to restart the kernel. For that, we have to just may run this command. So first run this one like this way. And if you just may check over here and from here, you can see the kernel status is busy. So just may wait until it shows a ideal. And finally is ideal now. Now what you do, we have to just may restart the kernel. For that, we have to just may run this particular shell. Wait for a second, you will get this kind of pop up. Click on this OK. And now if we just may check, finally the kernel status is ideal. Once you see the status as ideal, now just may hit shift and enter till end. So that's the way you have to complete the task number one. Now what you do, come back to the GitHub repo, scroll down and from here you can see this URL. So just may open this thing in incognito window. This will act to your cloud shell. In meantime, you can just may close all these remaining tasks. Okay, like this way. Click on this, got it. Okay, now come back over here and from here you can see this region. So just may copy this export region command, paste over here. Now for the region, come back over here and from here just may copy this region and paste like this way. Now again come back over here, run this particular command, task one command and paste over here like this. Wait for a second and then just may click on this authorize. Now this command is going to take a couple of minutes. In meantime, I'm just may going to fast forward all this waiting part. And it's finally done. Now just may click on this URL over here like this way. Wait for a second. And if you get this kind of error, don't worry. Just may come back over here and from here you can see this command. So just may copy this. First of all, just may come back over here. Press Ctrl C to terminate this thing. Now just may paste and hit enter like this way. Now wait for a couple of seconds. And again, you will get this kind of URL. If you want, you can just me open this thing or you can just me come back to this page and refresh it. If you get this same error, don't worry. Again, come back like this way. Control C, paste the command again, hit enter over here. And it's done. Now again, come back over here, refresh the page again. Now, if you are able to get this kind of page, well and good. If not, again, just me come back, press a control C and again, rerun the same command, which I share over here, this command. Okay. Now just me come back over here. Just simply choose any option over here like this way and make sure that you have to perform this step. Otherwise you will not get a full score on the task number three. So just simply wait.
and it's finally done now you can just simply come back over here and you can see here also the same output generated now just simply press ctrl c to terminate so we have done with this command now just simply copy this last command over here come back paste hit enter now just simply wait for the, this command can execute and once it's done we have to repeat the same task that we have done right now so just simply wait for a couple of minutes and it's finally done now here you can see this service url just simply click over here again just simply choose any option from here like this way scroll down and then just simply click on this generate my recipe now wait And it's done now if you just may come back over here and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just may wait for a couple of seconds and you will get a full score over here for sure so just may wait and watch and as you can see it's done and that's a way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys remember this video is for educational purpose Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.